Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cigar box guitar tutorial. And I'm gonna be using my three string fretless today. So if you don't have a three string fretless, um, you might be able to adapt this to a fretted guitar, but you know, it's really gonna shine on a three string fretless CBG. So that's probably what you wanna use today. And we are tuned G, D, G. Now, as I mentioned, I've posted several of these tutorials. In fact, there's a playlist of them and I'll link that in the description and uh, they're all in one location. Now, back in January of this year, I said I was gonna try to post a cigar box tutorial every month for the entire year of 2021, and guess what? This is number 12 and it's December, so I managed to meet that goal for you guys, so do make sure you check out that uh, list of tutorials. Hopefully, they help somebody. But what I wanna talk about today is how to sound like you know what you're doing on a three-string fretless like this when you really don't. And the reason that I wanna do this tutorial is because I sort of did this haphazardly. Um, this here is actually my first ever cigar box guitar, and I didn't even make this one. I bought this one at a cigar box guitar festival. And I didn't know anything. I'd never played a slide guitar. I'd never played a cigar box guitar before. And I got this one, and I was like, okay, I gotta figure something out. And so I just figured out kind of a little, a cheat, I guess you'd say. And uh, then the next cigar box guitar festival that I went to, I was playing that kind of stuff and people were like, wow, you could really play. And I was like, no, I'm really, really I can't. But uh, you know, it, it, I guess it sounds more complex than it is. And what you're gonna do here, obviously you're tuned G, D, G. That's your first thing, tune her up and get your slide. And you probably want a short slide like this one because it makes it a little easier to do some of, you know, hit like the middle string without hitting the top or the bottom string. Um, so I recommend that, but some people prefer a longer slide. So again, that's kind of up to you. But uh, here's what you're gonna do today. So first of all, get your amp, I got an amp down here, and give yourself a nice dirty tone. Like not anything off the hook, not like crazy overdrive, but just a dirty tone. And then we're also gonna kick in the reverb. And here, listen to this. There's no reverb there, now watch. Already sounds like I know more about what I'm doing, right? Just put just a little bit of dirt on your signal and a little reverb. And that just really helps everything sound smoother. And what you're gonna do here is, I realize that this one doesn't have fret lines, like some of the uh, fretless guitars do have fret lines. This one does not, so you just have to trust me here. But your second fret line and your third fret line and your fifth fret line, that's it. On all three strings, second, third, fifth, second, third, fifth, second, third, fifth. That's all we're gonna use today. And the fifth we're only gonna use every now and again. We're really gonna live down on that second and third on all three strings. And what you wanna do is just occasionally do a little slide. See how good that sounds? Sliding from the second to the third. But it sounds good on all strings. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda of strum the whole guitar and then occasionally throw in a little slide note on one of the strings and it doesn't really matter which order we do them in, it always just seems to work. And even if we hit multiple strings, if we hit two, that still works. Or if we hit all three, that still works. And kinda of do that little, when you get to the note, do that little shake like that, and that gives a little extra too. And then one other thing, you're also gonna to wanna to throw in some dead strings where you just kind of throw a finger across the string so you mute them. And then between just a strum, an occasional slide, and a dead string or two with that reverb, you get something like this.
So something like that, and, and it really doesn't have to be prescriptive. You can be like. I mean, it doesn't really matter. As long as you kind of follow those guidelines, second, third, second, third, second, third, and then throw in that fifth every once in a while. And again, it doesn't matter. You could just, you don't have to strum all three when you hit that fifth. You could just be like. So it, it, I mean, that's the thing is this, this formula just really works. Um, it makes it sound like you know what you're doing when you, all you're doing is going second, third, third, second, second, third, third, second, fifth, fifth, second, third. You know, you're just doing like just a little improvising using those notes and it really just always seems to come out well. So that is a great little secret um, on the three string fretless here. And these are just really fun instruments. And like I said, just kind of hang out there. Don't put too much thought into it and just kind of mess around with that second and third sort of fret line. Get that wonderful little blue note and make it happen. Sounds something like this. Thanks for tuning in, guys.